Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Cuisine Dumont, the only channel where we excite your taste bud. I know it has been a very long time I uploaded any video on this channel and uh, this was this was because I had a lot going on in my life. I had, um, in fact, life was actually happening to me. But now we are back stronger. We are back harder. We are not going anywhere. Cuisine Dumont is here to stay, okay? We are back with exclusive recipes. So please, stick and stay all right if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and also share our videos to your families your in-laws your sisters whoever okay and um, let them also learn one or two recipes from this channel all righty let's get into it so today we are making this delicious vegetable um chicken line soup first and foremost i thoroughly washed my chicken and um, I added in my blended spices, which is my um, my aniseed, garlic, ginger, and onion. I also added in my vegetable stock cube and some salt to taste. I'm going to give it a very good stir and I would allow it to boil over for a few minutes. And this is because I am going to leave the chicken in till um, the soup is done. I don't want it to overcook. So just when, it's, when, just when it boils over, I'm going to go ahead and add my tomato paste. I'll then give it a good stir to make sure the tomato paste is well mixed. And then I'll introduce my vegetables. I am going to go ahead and add in my bell peppers, my colorful rainbow, <laughs> my colorful rainbow bell peppers, my orange, green, yellow, and um, onions. And I also add in my tomatoes, also add my um, pepper and then I'll, I'll add some water to allow it to cook okay i'll then also um add in some carrots and i'll cover it and allow it to cook and also know that if you are someone who doesn't like vegetables this is a nice way of introducing or incorporating vegetables into your meals as humans it is um, advisable that we eat vegetables so i would um advise that if you are one who doesn't like to eat them in their raw state or even cooked this is a nice way um, of incorporating them and um, all right so let's get right into it so we see that the vegetables are well cooked now I am going to take them out and I'll blend them into a smooth consistency After blending it into the consistency that I wanted, I am going to go ahead and strain out the chaff from the vegetables. You can choose to leave them in if you want to, but I prefer to strain them out. Okay. After I have strained out the chaff, and at this point I'm making sure that all the vegetables are cleared out of the chaff, okay? I'll then give it a very good stir and um, I would also taste. So when I tasted, I realized that it needed more seasoning. So I went ahead and added in some um, vegetable stock cube, some adobo and also salt to taste. I'll then give it a good stir to make sure everything is well incorporated and then I'll allow it to simmer under a medium high heat. Mm -hmm. 
and just when the soup was almost done i went ahead and added in some black bushito and this is to add some flavor and some heat to the soup and i would also reduce the heat from um, a medium high to a low heat and this is going to allow it to simmer for the flavors and for the seasonings to marry themselves you understand and guys i would leave it to simmer for 10 minutes and our soup is ready you know and look at how beautiful it looks if you are um, checking your weight if you are on diet uh, this is a meal that or this is a soup that you should consider and yeah our soup is ready ready to be served okay so guys if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel share our recipes to your friends and loved ones out there let them also learn one or two recipes from this channel ask them to also subscribe okay <laughs> <laughs> all right so guys i'll see you all in my next video and always remember in a world where you can be anything be kind bye